everybody. It's Christmas Eve 2020. Just real quick, wanted to remind everybody about the Patreon page. Happened to get a new patron this past week, and I just want to shout out to Gary Klein. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining the patron. And hopefully I can deliver on some very good videos and some other interesting patron-only uh, surprises that make it worth it. Uh, tell your friends. <laughs> My mind just went to the whole hide your kids, hide your wife uh internet song i'm so sorry i am so so sorry about for what my brain has done uh but yes thank you very much gary i really appreciate it and uh, this is my special shout out to you and remember you get to choose a film appreciation video for me to make so think of something let me know that said since it is christmas eve i decided to give everybody an early Christmas present. And that's one of the greatest movies of all time that many of you might not have seen. Or if you've heard of it, you might think it's a terrible movie and you would be wrong. So I'm giving you the gift of Streets of Fire. Streets of Fire is the best. I will hear no, no nothings about it. I, I used to be one of those people that thought that this was a bad movie. Uh, one of my best friends in Colorado, his wife adored this movie. And I was kind of like, oh my god. Must be one of those so bad it's good movies. Because I had heard nothing but pretty bad stuff about it. And then I finally watched it. And oh my god. Who? Walter Hill. Directed by Walter Hill of the Warriors fame. This is probably his masterpiece in my opinion. It's the 1980s as if the 1950s pop culture wise never ended. It stars Willem Dafoe and some random dude who you don't even care. Michael Pere and Diane Lane and Rick Moranis. And basically Willem Dafoe kidnaps Diane Lane. Michael Pere goes to rescue her and Rick Moranis is along for the ride. Um, he plays Diane Lane's manager. Diane Lane is a musician. For anime fans out there, you will know Streets of Fire as being one of the most influential films on your favorite anime if you like anime from the 80s. Uh, Megazone 2-3 owes a lot, uh, part 1 specifically. Megazone 2-3 part 1 owes a lot to Streets of Fire. Um, one would even say that Akira owes, owes a little bit to Streets of Fire. But nothing owes more to Streets of Fire than Bubblegum Crisis. Bubblegum Crisis is so Streets of Fire it hurts. And if anyone has seen Bubblegum Crisis, one of the best anime of the 80s, you'll know that it is the most 80s of 80s anime to ever 80s. And that's because Streets of Fire is one of the most 80s films to ever 80s from the 80s and beyond. The first episode of Bubblegum Crisis actually mirrors the opening sequence to Streets of Fire and because I'm such a huge fan of this I'm actually going to play you these clips right now because both include terrific cinematography great shot composition and two of the most banging songs of the 1980s so first up here's the opening to Bubblegum Crisis from episode one
104番街を西へ走行中の物体は走行歩兵もしくは警報光戦闘機と思われる全エディポリスの援助を請う。Now here's the same scene, almost shot for shot. It feels like with a song that is very, very similar from Streets of Fire, the OG. Yes, I am saying that Bubblegum Crisis basically ripped off Streets of Fire for its first episode, and that's okay. I don't care. Here's Streets of Fire. Now tell me you don't want to go see this movie. You don't want to just run out and purchase Shout Factory's incredible collector's edition Blu-ray that includes a feature-length documentary, brand new for this edition, about the making of Streets of Fire and all kinds of other goodies. Tell me you aren't just itching to get out there. I love this movie and I, I feel it's a true cult item. It's truly a cult film because people who watch it and fall in love with it really really fall in love with it the, these are people that created the cult following of streets of fire and that's because it's something that leads to obsession you just the music especially if you like this movie you will be on itunes by the time the credits finish rolling and have it downloaded to your phone or to your computer or however you download digital music nowadays because the soundtrack is an absolute banger from start to finish and the performances are fun it's got it's got this really campy sort of feel to it but it's not cheesy it, it's just it just rides that wave very nicely where it's camp but not cheese that's why it's not so bad it's good it's just good um, the performances are very fun Willem Dafoe is an incredible villain uh, like just his hair, that leather outfit, Willem Dafoe is a fox 
in this movie and he is dangerous and it just it, it's so menacing it's you know why Willem Dafoe became Willem Dafoe um and oh it's just incredible uh Michael Pere he's fine he he does fine as the lead you know you like him you watch the movie he's he's in most every scene so it's fine you don't hate him it doesn't ruin the movie but everything that surrounds him shines so brightly that he becomes this dim dim spot in the film that you can't help but kind of be like eh, yeah he was okay everything else is just so loud and good and bright and shining uh man streets of fire please seek this one out it is a great film and and go in wanting to have fun because that's what i do every time i watch it so merry christmas eve that's my gift to you the recommendation and the love of streets of fire so 